trying to eat healthier, the first thing most people probably do is try to cut back on the sugar, right? Or even try some sweets with sugar substitutes. But the safety of those is once again being called into question. So this morning, Nine News medical expert Dr. Pyle Coley is joining us to discuss the potential impacts xylitol can have on your heart. First of all, can you explain just what that is? So xylitol is a sugar alcohol. It's naturally found. And the claim to fame of this particular compound is that it's just as sweet as sugar, but has 40% fewer calories, has a lower glycemic index means it makes your sugar go up less and it's better for your teeth. So people say, oh, it must be found in nature. It must be good for us. But in fact, what it's found in nature is much fewer concentrations. So thousand fold less than what we put in our toothpaste or our gum or many of the other products that we put it into. Okay, so what did this study find about it? Yep, so it found that people who had high levels of xylitol in their blood actually had a significantly higher risk of heart attack and stroke. Oh. And so the question here is, are they eating more sugar substitutes that's then causing that heart attack and stroke? Or is there something else about the compound that's triggering biological changes? And it is found naturally in our blood. It's found in foods like cauliflower, plums, raspberries, strawberries. But again, the concentration is so much less than what we're putting in the artificial substances. And it really does make us question what we've been doing because many of the guidelines have been saying we should stop the sugar sure. and patients like diabetics or heart disease patients should actually take these sugar substitutes instead. So is there an explanation as to why that could be linked to higher risk of heart attacks or strokes? So they looked at animals and they found that it actually binds to our platelets, which are these clotting cells. So it might actually be increasing our risk of clotting by binding to these platelets. Lovely. So we think we're doing this great <laughs> thing, telling our diabetics and heart disease patients to eat these sugar substitutes. These are the highest risk patients and we may actually potentially be increasing their risk. Is this in a lot of keto products? It is. It's oh, considered keto friendly. Okay. And if you start looking, you'll find it's actually in so many different products because we sort of made it part of our food pyramid because we thought it was naturally occurring and really healthy. But besides the heart stuff, it can affect our liver, it can affect our GI tract. Mm -hmm. If a dog gets xylitol, in fact, it's a fatal reaction mm. because it triggers a massive release of insulin, which can cause their sugar levels to drop down. You mentioned some, food, some foods like cauliflower. Those are the natural fruits, but where else do we find xylitol? So it, our body makes it itself. Mm -hmm. And so again, it's because it's a naturally occurring sugar, we think it's healthy. Now it's related to another type of sugar, erythritol, which they studied last year, which is found in stevia and other products. And it had the exact same pattern. High levels of eryth erythritol in your blood are associated with a higher risk of heart attack and stroke. So it's really calling into question these sugar substitutes and what we should be doing. What's your recommendation if someone, let's say, is a diabetic or someone has a super sweet tooth or someone <laughs> is, you know, overweight? We were just talking they, about that this morning. Yes, and, and they kind of rely on this to, to get them through. What do you recommend? Do they change sweeteners? It's funny, actually, the doctors are now saying that using natural sweeteners like honey, fruit sweeteners, or a little bit of actual sugar may even be better than some of these sugar substitutes. But the key here is really that moderation. Yeah. You cannot spoon in the sugar. My mom drinks tea with three spoons of <laughs> yeah. sugar. I could kill her. <laughs> you know? yeah. Cereal, when we were younger, you know, you just put Sprinkle the salt or the yogurt. sugar in there. Oh, yeah. 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 Scrape the bottom and it's just a spoonful of sugar. That's exactly also right. Makes you, it also makes you think a little bit more about what you're eating, right? So you think about sprinkling it. And really, our taste buds are very responsive. So if we train them to slowly cut down the sugar, of course, if you go from a whole lot to nothing, it's going to taste terrible. Yeah. But if you wean yourself off, you really can make a difference sure. if you use these healthier sugars instead. Really I have a sweet tooth. Yes, me too. We were both <laughs> talking about that. It's very interesting, Dr. Coley. Thank you. And you can find all of Dr. Coley's appearances at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.